Tell me when. Okay, hi, my name's uh, Dave Viotti. I'm the new Chief Executive Officer of the uh, Junior Statesman Foundation. I've been about five months in the job now. Before that, I was an officer of the foundation. And actually, 22 years ago, I was a, I was a student, just like Canal, who's uh, doing my uh, the interview right now. So I came from Colorado Springs, Colorado, and about uh, 22 years ago, I got this flyer in the mail uh, through my English teacher uh, talking about this great program at Georgetown University called the, the Junior Statesman Summer School. So I had an opportunity to uh, do some fundraising and applied and fortunately was accepted and, and got to go to uh, the Georgetown Summer School. This is back in 1986. Had such a great time, I ended up going back a second summer. It really was a life-changing experience. Really the opportunity to be around some of the best and brightest uh, young minds in the country and folks who, like me, shared a real interest and passion in government. And uh, it really was incredibly life-changing. I remember the first uh, time that I went, in uh, uh, you know going into a debate forum, uh, being nervous even about raising my hand and asking a question, and the first time raising my hand, and it wasn't too bad. In fact, I got a lot of confidence from that. To the end of that summer school, where I was actively, you know, in the throes of debates with with everybody on a lot of issues, and that confidence that I got out of the experience was so empowering that it really sort of propelled me for through the rest of my career. So, Canel, do you want me to tell you more about the career? Or yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, uh, so I went on from uh, from junior statesman. Um, Actually, Georgia Statesman introduced me to Georgetown University in the city of Washington, D.C., which is uh, mm -hmm. uh, one of my favorite cities in the world. In fact, I lived eight years of my life there. I was actually born at Andrews Air Force Base mm -hmm. um, you know, when I was a kid. And uh, I ended up going to Georgetown University undergraduate. And probably would never have known about the university or gone to Washington, D.C. had it not been for Junior Statesman and had a, a wonderful experience there. Uh, went on to Oxford University on a fellowship and then uh, back to Georgetown for law school and had a very uh, good career in law and business um, where I, for, I worked for the UN for a while. Um, I worked in Hong Kong for the government of Hong Kong prior to the Chinese transition and then had a, a successful career in business and, um, and, and, and law. And then uh, just this uh, past year when the opportunity to come back to the organization uh, that has uh, served me so well came up, I jumped at the opportunity because it really is a, uh, an amazing organization and if you look at our alumni, there are about half a million of them out there around the world. Um, many of them have gone on to do just tremendous things. Uh, you know, many of them in, are, are on, you know, like Mike McCurry, who's our chairman of the board, was Clinton's press, press secretary. Ed Meese uh, was Reagan's attorney general. And those are sort of the, the big figures, but fundamentally, anybody who goes through our program, I would wager, is, is moved in some way and empowered in many ways and goes on, if nothing else, just to be great citizens and involved in our process. And ultimately, that's what democracy is, 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 uh, is founded on, is having a very informed electorate uh, and very involved citizenry. And that's fundamentally what JSA is about. And I think we do that. And, and we, in that respect, we fulfill a very important mission uh, uh, that, that goes back to the origins of the Republic about empowering young people to participate. The foundation right now, we're at a really critical point, I think, in the state of American democracy. What's very encouraging right now is if you look out on the campaign trail, particularly in the primaries of this season, we're seeing more and more young people than ever before participate. And that key word is participate. So that's exciting and that proposes a great, you know, great opportunity, I think, for our country and for our program uh, that more young people will be involved in the process. The research shows that when uh, young people get involved, um, particularly in early age, that stays with them through the whole, their whole lives. And ultimately, that, that obviously helps democracy as well when you've got an engaged citizenry. So that's pretty exciting. The negative side is that about only about four in ten of this generation actually believe that it's their duty to vote. Um, and that's something that I think is problematic because that's so fundamental to democracy. So we at the foundation, you know, it's a big mission of ours is to make sure that we're encouraging the next generation of America's leaders uh, to have that passion to participate and, and to be involved. So we're doing that in a number of ways. We run programs throughout the country during the year that's student run. It's really important that it's student run because ultimately it's that practice of democracy uh, and that ability to, to do it yourself that helps empower people. So what we're doing this year and we'll be doing in the next few years at the foundation is not just teaching about democracy as we do through our summer schools, but more, more importantly, looking at opportunities to uh, provide students with an experience to participate, whether it's going to a democratic 